His best game as a Cougar, seven catches, 140 yards, and a dominating win over Troy. Oh, and the longest play of the season that went for a touchdown. Here's my one-on-one -on -one with Dax Mill on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline via Zoom. Dax, if you don't already know, I picked you as my Y factor against Troy. And taking nothing away from the winner, Gunner, uh, I thought you got absolutely snubbed. So I hope you know I've got your back. Hey, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> more catches, more yards, a touchdown. Like, I, pre I presented the case, but uh, it, it only proves to me that uh, you are the most underappreciated player on the BYU offense. How do you feel about that designation? Hey, that's – I feel the love for you, man. Appreciate it, man. Everyone, <laughs> everyone did a good job. And naturally, because you had a near-flawless game, we have to get really nitpicky and discuss the fumbled punt return. What would you learn from that moment, and how is it going to help you moving forward? <laughs> oh, boy, I sound like my dad. Um, yeah, I, I <laughs> definitely learned some. Uh, no matter uh, what it is, just, especially when the ball's in the air, I just got to hide my focus and just make sure I – I catch it, especially on punts. Now, I think you just saw a wide open window and you were really anxious to run. Is there any truth to that? Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a reoccurring problem for me. I start thinking about what I'm going to do after I get the ball and I start getting a little antsy, and so that's probably what happened. Don't be so hard on yourself. You still have the best hands on the team. So you got that going for you, Dax. Um, Thank you. And, and they went right back to you and often uh, to reestablish that confidence. What was that like for you to work through uh, some frustration, but then ultimately put together your best game as a BYU Cougar? Uh, yeah, it, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they came back to me uh, uh, really soon on the offensive side. And it really just gave me a chance to, like you said, get my confidence and, and um, get on the same page with Zach. And I'm glad that we were able to connect throughout the game and, and I didn't, I wasn't really keeping track, but at the end of the game, everyone's like, tell me that I had a, just a breakout game. And I was, I was honestly surprised, but I'm just glad that we, we were all clicking. Everyone did great. Dax Millen with us on BYU Sports Nation. What's the secret to success for the BYU offense through your first two games? Because it has been, in a word, explosive. Yes, uh, I, I attribute to the coaches. They've, they've made it a, a big point in uh, fall camp and throughout the offseason to just keep keep the gas pedal on um, trying to get as many explosive plays as we can. Um, I've seen the stats from previous years and we've we've continued to to increase our numbers as far as explosive plays and I think we're on track to keep that number getting higher and higher so I'm I'm pleased with what we're doing right now. You and Gunnar Romney both go over 100 yards receiving. First game that's happened for two BYU receivers since 2015. I keep hearing the word chemistry from Zach and Gunnar. What plays into that conversation? What's led to the influx of positive chemistry? Positive chemistry. Yeah, I think there's a few factors. I think one obvious one is just that we're all friends. Um, I mean, I live with Zach and and it's just we're on the same level there. We're, we enjoy being around each other. And uh, then on the football side, it's just we've we just worked so hard. Honestly, we um, throughout the off season and fall camp, just extra reps, just throwing by ourselves and and um, just timing. So, like I said, I'm just I'm glad it's we're we're clicking right now. At what point in this strange off season did you feel like? we might have something special going here. Was there a, a, a linchpin moment or has this been something that's been developing over a long time? Uh, yeah, I don't think there was a moment where, where I knew that we were about to be, you know, some crazy special. I just, I think it's just been developing um, just past years and with guys like me and Gunnar who have been younger guys, just learning from older, older dudes and, and um, Zach continuing to get better. And I think it's just, yeah, developing over time and, and uh, finally starting to show out. Dax Milne with us on BYU Sports Nation. Both you and Gunnar have had uh, ample opportunity to show off the wheels, which begs the question, who's faster between you and Gunnar? Listen, he'll try to tell you he's faster. It's this, this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just point to the longest play of the season against Troy on Saturday night and say, hey, would you have run it that fast? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Um, as you push ahead to Louisiana Tech on Friday night, uh, always a fun atmosphere at LaVille Edwards Stadium under the lights, albeit with no fans. 
What do you anticipate uh, from Louisiana Tech, and what do you know about their defensive approach at this point? Um, I don't know too many specifics. Um, we haven't dove into their their schemes too heavy yet. I'll get into that in meetings today, but I, I do know that they're probably just as excited to play as we are, and and I'm sure they're they're ready to just prove their prove themselves and their name, and and so we'll just we just got to make sure we're ready for them. How do you read into the AP polls and the rankings? Because I know that the word poison is floating around that BYU locker room a lot, led by Eric Mateos. Just stay away from it, avoid it, but yet you still see a number 22 in front of BYU right now. So how do you handle that national ranking? Uh, yeah, me personally, I don't really buy into those really uh, that heavy. It's just there's so many different opinions and, and um, different uh, polls. So it's just, you can't really put too much stock into it. I just, I say for us, just keep doing what we're doing. And if we end up on top, we end up on top. All right, Dax, we'll finish with this. Because you got to do it on Saturday night, and that's celebrate in essentially an empty stadium as far as fans go. So how do you make the most out of an experience like that when you're in the end zone and you look up and there's nobody there? Yeah, it, it's during the game. It, you kind of once you start playing the game, you kind of don't notice that the fans aren't there anymore, but, right? Well, like you're when you score a touchdown or make a big play, then you're like, "What the?" You know, like it's, <laughs> it's a little weird. And so, it it just you got to fall back on your teammates and just it's honestly been fun just being able to just mess around and uh, have fun with your with your guys. Congratulations again on an outstanding performance against Troy. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for the matchup against Louisiana Tech. And remember, I got your back, man. Love you, brother. <laughs> <laughs>